Gingy's in jail? Hello and welcome to Celebration. I'm Dave Kay and today we are back in Celebration, Florida, the town that Disney built, checking out an interesting fair in the area as well as some food. Let's share it all with you here today. We were coming to Celebration to get some food. We were recommended Columbia's Restaurant by one of you and I'm excited to give it a shot thanks to your very kind gift card especially motivated to give it a shot and in addition we're going to check out this Disney cast member fair which we just happened to see across the street as we were driving into Celebration. Really interesting look to it in front of a church. It seems like they're celebrating or supporting cast members through fairs and maybe selling items at kiosks in front of the church area almost like a concert. Very cool setup. I'll show you what it looks like here around the corner. Let's do it. Here's a look from afar as we make our way closer towards this church is the community Presbyterian Church with a lot of kiosks where again it looks like they're selling different items. Maybe different cast members own these different booths to raise money for those former cast members. I'm not sure but a very cool setup here. Disney cast member fair. Look at that. Really decorated and prepared for these cast members. There are a variety of items from cloths, fabrics, to holiday decorations, and so much more all around us. We'll keep making our way around. Look at these paintings over here, beautiful artwork. So much to see. Some of these remind you of that art festival, Festival of the Arts, those kiosks they have there. Very nice that they're able to bring these here today. Love the glass ornaments and other decor here. More artwork, love it. Very cool to see everything that they're selling here today. And if you're more of a sports fan, you've got schools or different sports teams for leashes and harnesses and for your pets, perhaps. I like the concept. I've never seen these trains running through the streets of Celebration either. Very cool to see that fair back there. Got to drop in and see some of the merchandise available. Let's make our way to grab some food now. Stepping into the main part of Celebration and look at these holiday decorations. Wow, love these bells, the Christmas bells hanging from the light fixtures above and this beautiful Christmas tree in the middle of the street. Wow, huge Christmas tree with some presents going on over there. I wonder what it's for, pictures or something else? Maybe we'll find out. In addition to this tree in the center of the walkway in Celebration, you have this sign. Look at this. To minimize crowds and allow maximum social distancing, surprise snowfalls will sporadically occur between 6 and 9 p.m. at unadvertised times. Very smart way to keep people separated, but also spread that holiday cheer here in the town celebration in Celebration, or town center in Celebration, Florida. Beautiful to see the sights as we pass by these main restaurants on the main street of Celebration. Love the vibes here. What a great place from that fair to this holiday spirit. So much fun. But take a look at the front side of this tree setup. Wow, love this. Beautiful shots with the gingerbread men, gingerbread family. You've got the tree and many trees on the front of this one. Love it. So, so cool to see. Love all the holiday spirit. Trying to take some photos here and I realize if you look at it from this angle, Gingy's in jail? What is Gingy doing in jail? Gotta let him out of there. But nice to be able to take these socially distanced photos. I'm sure this is probably so no one gets on the stage, but feels like Gingy's in jail here. Let's make our way to get some food. Here we are, as in olden days, in celebration near the water. Love the waterfront view. Look at this carriage riding. Wow, this must be special for the holidays to be able to do the carriage riding with these horses. Beautiful to see these horses out here. I think Columbia was down this way. It, it actually might have been the other way, so we'll find out. But this is a good option for dessert if we're thinking of Kilwins, maybe. I don't know if we need that sugary stuff, but it's an option. Right past the not really movie theater is Columbia, Columbia's restaurant. You've hyped it up. You recommended it. Thank you for your gift cards. And now we shall try it. Yes, I'm excited. Beautiful decorations throughout the lobby of Columbia restaurant as we're waiting for our table. Shouldn't be too long, but you can see they have a Christmas tree. They have a variety of paintings 
all around, all sides. The dining room is down that way. And you have a knight of armor here next to this Christmas tree and the wine cellar. Wow, really cool concept. I love the setup in here. Let's see how the food is. This is what the dining room looks like from a distance. We're probably going to sit outside, but look at the holiday decor on the wreaths, on the lights. You got some horsies back there. I like it. This part of the restaurant seems to be a bar. It's very quiet in here. wonder if we could get seated in here. seems like maybe 20 minutes for inside table and an hour for outside. We figured outside might be quieter, but it sounds like we'll take first available just so we can get some food. Don't want to be waiting that long. So nice artwork, nice bar feel. And right outside the bar area, they have this mini gift shop. You can see a variety of items they're selling from kitchen utensils and tiles and cups and such to so much more. Colombia specific food items, perhaps sauces or essential oils. I doubt that's what that is, but that's what that looks like. It's very cool. So we are indeed sitting inside. Look at our inside spot. You can see Mike's chilling over there with his camera. And this is the menu. We've got the tapas on the upper left. They have paper menus, which is nice. We can actually physically look through them, but they're on the website as well. You see they have a variety of delicious looking options. You recommended the croquetas de pollo, so I might try those, we might try those. Calamari as well. And possibly, in terms of entrees, we're looking at the stuffed shrimp. Mike was looking at the stuffed shrimp. And some of these other ones sound pretty good too. There's the ropa vieja, or the shrimp and yellow rice, or the pollo riojana. There's so many good options. Maybe we'll have to come back after today's visit. I skimmed right over. I think this is maybe the oldest family-owned restaurant in the country, or that has remained family-owned, something like that. Look at this, Colombia's since 1905. So they're celebrating 115 years. Wow, very impressive. Look at that beautiful ship on the front as well. The gem of Spanish restaurants. Let's give it a shot here. So we ordered our few different items. We got the croquetas de pollo and the calamari. Mike's got the stuffed shrimp. And we're trying the palomilla. The waiter said he preferred that over the ropa vieja, so good to know. And inside here, we have our bread, individual loaves of bread for us, and our butter. Let's give this a shot, let you know what we think, see if it's exceptional. So here we have our appetizers. You have that calamari. Look at those calamaris right there. And next to them, much smaller plate, the croquetas de pollo. Nice, excited to try them both. That's a small appetizer. This one looks to be a full-size appetizer. We'll let you know what we think of them. So we have here a couple of delicious looking menu items. This is the palomilla. You've got your plantains on the side, the meat, lightly fried steak strip in there. And Mike has his delicious looking stuffed shrimp. Stuffed shrimp with some crab meat in there, oh yeah. With some rice and veggies on the side. We'll let you know here how they are, but I'm excited to give them a shot. So we've made it through about everything because the food was really fast here. Let me take you through all of the items, let you know what we thought. Starting us off with the croquetas de pollo. I feel like this was one of the best appetizers, if not one of the best items here today. Love the flavor. It reminds me quite a bit of the stuffed avocados at Trudy's in Texas. Love that flavor where you've got the crispy and the veggie mixed with the chicken for a delicious meal type microscopic item. At Trudy's it's a full meal, but here it's a microscopic appetizer item. Delicious. There's not many of them, but they're very good. Then we had the calamari. Calamari was solid, but it wasn't the best calamari ever. It was pretty good, but not amazingly, mind-blowingly unique, nor was it amazingly, mind-blowingly flavorful. So of the two, I prefer the croquetas. Then we got to the main courses, of which I liked the yellow rice the best. The yellow rice was fantastic. Delicious flavor in there with some veggies mixed in. Mike's shrimp was pretty solid with a crab in there, but not extremely flavorful. And my steak could have been a bit more flavorful as well. I do like those thin-cut steaks, but I didn't feel that it was especially seasoned or flavorful as it could have been. Overall, I'd say it was good food, but nothing amazingly mind-blowing, nothing I'd necessarily prioritize as a food item. I could see myself getting those croquetas de pollo again and the yellow rice again, but overall, I'd probably try something new here at Colombia Restaurant. That being said, it's a nice restaurant. Overall, great food, great atmosphere, fast food and fast service, so not bad. And thank you so much again to Christina for this gift card to Colombia. Glad we had a chance to check it out here today. Huge menu. Maybe we'll have to try some more items in the future. Maybe we'll try more of those tapas. Just get a variety of plates and try them all. That sounds like it could be promising too. Mike, what did you think of Colombia restaurant? We had a variety of items. What'd you think? I thought it was overall really good. I enjoyed it. I think that the, the yellow rice, as you mentioned, and the calamari, the pollo, that was amazing was all super good. I, I enjoyed those. Nothing we had was like mind-blowingly good, however. So I think the, the pollo was probably the only exception there. 
the uh, everything else is only marginal. So I do want to go back. I do want to try it again. I think they have some great service, kind of great atmosphere throughout. Uh, is it worth going out of your way for? Not quite, not quite, but we may get there with the next visit. That's my thought on it. We'll try it again in the future. Is there anywhere else you're hoping to go next tonight? Well, there is a spot right behind us here, which has some interesting dessert items. Uh-oh. So we'll see if we end up going to Killwinds. It's sugary. I'm pretty full after that food. I must say it was a good quantity of food and the bread that comes with it as well was nice. So overall, I would say not a bad spot. I could see going again to try other items. I could also see trying somewhere new. There's quite a line to get inside Killwinds here. We are waiting outside to step in. I don't know. Do I want to get anything here? But we're going to at least check it out. Take a look. Back in Kilwins, look at all of these chocolatey items here. From our sprinkled and striped crispies to cookies, marshmallows. Oh my gosh, so many chocolatey items here. Truffles all throughout this chocolate cooler. Oh my gosh, almond bark, that looks really good. Pecan bark and Oreo bark, wow. And over in this cooler, as you may remember, is those apples. Look at these caramel apples throughout this locker. Apple pie caramel apple, wow. Everything peanut apple, wow. A lot of these look really amazing, but I don't need that kind of sugar. But I guess we're gonna split some ice creams here, I guess. And we have our ice cream, what the heck, ice cream for dessert. Looking forward to trying a couple of flavors in here. You have the pumpkin pie on the top, and in the bottom, we have the cappuccino chocolate chip. I'm only gonna have one tiny, tiny, teeny spoonful of each one, and Mike will enjoy the rest. Yes, he will, indeed. No, 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 no. Let's give it a shot. Just finished those two flavors from Kilwins, the pumpkin pie and the cappuccino chocolate chip. Here are my thoughts. I feel like both of those flavors were okay. They were not bad. For Kilwins, I feel like all the flavors we had last time were far superior. Not to mention, I like a lot of the Brewster's flavors better than I like these two flavors. Of the two, I prefer the pumpkin pie and the cappuccino chocolate chip. Tasted pretty standard, even not as good as some other cappuccino chocolate chip I've had. I always loved pumpkin, and it had pieces of pumpkin cake type thing in it, I feel like. But still, not as amazing of a flavor as I was expecting here at Kilwins. Kilwins usually does a pretty great job, but I don't know. The points on this one go to Brewster's. And for Mike's thoughts, Mike? I like both the flavors, I do, but I agree. I feel like the other time we were here at Kilwins, they were like so much better. The um, pumpkin pie is better than the chocolate cappuccino, my opinion. Both good, get other ones though. Driving down the streets of Celebration now, looking at the Christmas lights. This is incredible, amazing to see the holiday decorations. We've got all kinds of buildings lighting up. This one just turned off, but I don't know if you can see Olaf right out there posing for a photo. Look at him, that's awesome. Makes it pretty hard to drive, but yeah, you can see Olaf maybe back there behind those people who are waving right outside the window. Yeah, that's, that's what we get. Yeah, good luck with this, Mike. Thank you. Here's Olaf walking right up to the car. Do I have an opening? Olaf! Uh, a little bit. Yeah, just don't hit Olaf. I'm trying not to. Just don't hit Olaf. It's like incredibly Yeah, dangerous. just follow Olaf. Follow Olaf. This is pretty crazy. There's there's no street space left for you. You're trying to get past all these people walking, but we made it. We saw the coolest of the lights, I think. And should all be easier to get through from here. But oh my gosh, these projections, these inflatables, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. We've seen some cool holiday decorations just driving around plenty of neighborhoods, but... This is some of the coolest, some of the craziest. Look at the side of this home right here, lighting up. They're projecting a movie against the side of that home. That's crazy. That's the second home we saw with projections like that. Incredible to see these homes here up on the street. People are completely blocking the street by walking in it, but really, really cool to see all the holiday lights on all these buildings. Also different, but all really, really nice. And some of the quieter, more standard holiday decoration streets here. You can see normal, <laughs> at least what I would consider normal, typical, probably quite a bit, but still more standard holiday decorations versus those first homes. Absolutely amazing how much decoration they did, but really nice to see these out here as well, all across the streets of Celebration. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun today. What did you think of today's adventure? Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when those happen, in case you're wondering. Until next time, play on. Here's this part of the restaurant. It sounds like we'll take first, first available. Starting it off with the croquetas de pollo. 
Mike, what did you think of Kilwins? Not as amazing 